guys report in August, we're gonna we're gonna break everything down from the freshmen to even the upperclassmen. Okay, the upperclassmen can always work on their technique, their improvement. I I will start day one as if it's day one for everybody. Reteach everything. Okay, from there, our upperclassmen are gonna progress faster through fall ball. But the freshmen are going to keep learning technique, learning technique. The weight will come after after fall ball is over. But we spend all fall ball teaching technique to them, showing them what the expectations are, showing them what I want from them and how to do everything correctly, and just make sure that they're patient with the weight. And then the technique will come as we get older and older and more proficient at the exercises. The number one thing that we do in here is injury prevention. Okay, we want to make sure that these guys are able to withstand an entire spring of back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back games, road trips every weekend, okay, making sure that they are healthy at each and every day for every game. Um, everything that I do in here, it doesn't matter how strong they are if they're not available to play for every game. Okay, so making sure that they're healthy is number one, and then increasing their strength, increasing their speed, increasing their power output. Okay, I'm gonna make them a better athlete. They're gonna increase their power, and then the coaching staff is gonna make them better hitters, better base runners, better baseball players. So our volume in season drops off significantly. Okay, right now we're still hitting um, higher weights. We're still, we're still getting after it. It's still an intense lift, but our volume is much, much lower. Um, it, it's going to allow the guys to recover a lot quicker, but we're still going to be able to keep our strength levels up. Once they start traveling, our focus is going to be more and more on the health of the athlete, the recovery of these guys. We're still going to hit some intense weight, but it's not going to be near anything like we're doing now and nothing like we were doing in October and November. These, these guys love the weight room, okay? Teaching them, I, I show them this is what we do and this is why we do it. I show them the correlation between the weight room and performance, the weight room and wins, the weight room and the, and the attitude that you can bring to the weight room is the same attitude you're gonna bring in, into the, each game, okay? So showing them that, now they're starting to see it and, and they're absolutely eating it up. These guys love it, they get after it. I don't have to be a cheerleader for them. They're, they're their own cheerleaders. They're more excited for each other hitting their weights than I need to be. I can sit back and teach them and show them and correct things, and the other guys are in their ear telling them to do more reps, go more weight, and, and get after each other, and I can sit back now and just teach. It, it's, it's been great. The, this group has completely turned it around from where we were a year ago, and I'm, I'm really excited for the season coming up. I think it all pretty much started with the end of last year. Uh, the end of last year kind of left a bad taste on my and me personally, I wanted to be the best team I could be. So I think that's what really started it off, set the tone for the year. And that's what pretty much set the tone for us, our team in the weight room. Personally, making myself better. I try to do everything I can to make my team better. But if the team wins, I win. No matter if it's not a personal game, it's a team game. Big T has uh, done a great job. He's actually revamped our, uh, our workouts this year. Uh, they've really got more intensity in the weight room, more passion. And I feel like uh, we've all made strides with strength and speed and agility. So I think that's really going to carry over to the field this year and show in our pace of play and uh, our strength throughout the game. And I think right in here is where we made the most strides in the weight room. Um, it starts here with the intensity and passion. We carry that into the field, and I think uh, we're going to come out a lot faster than we did last year. I'm getting back in the gym. AT's done a great job with the with the boys. Um, you know, getting us stronger, getting us better. Um, also, personally, uh, with the new indoor facility and. Uh, Good weather this fall. I was able to make some strides, um, hitting, throwing, everything, defensive work. Um, we got a new assistant coach, uh, Joe Forney, with the outfielders. And he's done a great job with us. This year, I feel like um, with our brand new facility, everything, um, great coaches, a lot of young guys who've bought into the program, I think we're going to have an awesome year.